Namaste, all the college scholars. Welcome to the morning session. Nithi Didi is going to share today. Namaste, Didi. Ji. Namaste, Bhaiya. Namaste, all. Ji, Didi. I will put your brief, brief introduction and then you can place your share in the week. So, uh, we are all very familiar with uh, Nithi Chirag yesterday. Didi has worked uh, as a visiting faculty at uh, Sanjeevani Engineering College and uh, Shivaji Rao John Thale Engineering College that is in Maharashtra. She is part of a small group, uh, Sattva, who help people understanding the significance of eating natural food. She attended her uh, introductory FTP in July 2020 and UHP2 in October 2021. And she has been uh, consistently making effort to understand and live by the values. She has been conducting uh, workshops online and offline since uh, her attending the UHP2 workshop and has been helping all of us to uh, improve our self-exploration, strengthen our self-exploration. And she attended the UHP3 workshop also in uh, SRMISD in May 2024. And she has been a very consistent volunteer, has been uh, a moderator in this morning session also. So with this uh, brief introduction, I welcome Niti Didi for her sharing in the morning session. Over to Didi. Thank you. Ji, thank you so much, Bhaiya. Namaste, Wal. Namaste, Gopal Bhaiya. My name is Niti Chirak Sasde, and I'm staying in Maharashtra with my family. And I am working as assistant professor in Shivaji Rao Zondare College. I'm here to give a brief of how uh, this time the morning session went for me. I will share about the things which I was able to see. Also, I would try to put up the things which I was not able to see. And uh, this experience I could take that every time I am there in the morning session. Previously, if I have thought that I understood uh, one particular aspect. And when I go through the next batch, I get a glimpse that whatever I understood as understanding was actually just the information. And the seeing was left from my side. But I also see the possibility that it is happening this time, slowly and gradually. With this, I would go to exercise one. Step one was to get aware. And since I started morning sessions, I gradually learned about observing first thoughts, even if not thoughts, the object of attention. Then, because there were many thoughts, I could capture a very few. Then, after two, three batches, I think I started looking at the feeling part. It was still difficult to look at the expectations because I considered it as the desired part. Now also, this distinction is not taking place very clearly in desire, thought, expectations. If I look at it at runtime, later if I sit and if I put it on the notebook and then if I categorize, then it is happening. But otherwise, at runtime, now the focus is just going on the feeling part. And uh, earlier, when it started, I thought, wow, I am able to get the glimpse of my feelings most of the times but this time particularly i could see the blanks in between my observation and i thought uh, it is that i'm not able to see anything but it was actually i am very much unaware about my feeling at that time that also i understood after quite a, some time that these blanks means uh, the observation is not happening. About this reaction part, 
it has also been a stepwise journey when at the first few times i started understanding about my own feelings i became very reactant towards it even though it was mentioned that we do not have to react i thought i am so uh, i am not a very good person who has so many bad feelings within and i kept reacting towards it and became very uncomfortable with it and uh, now my attention went to it uh, i may have asked questions about it and uh, after getting the answer also it took me a quite amount of time to not to react of what is happening in me now also the percentage of reaction is not reduced like very less it is there but it is reduced compared to what it was happening earlier so say uh, out of 10 times in a day when i am able to notice the feeling happening in in me four times i do not react two times three times i ignore it and two three times i have a very strong opposition why i am carrying it that is how the journey is going on with the second step the feeling i have is naturally acceptable to me or not so earlier when i used to ask if i have this feeling of trust um is it naturally acceptable so the answer was yes trust is naturally acceptable but it was coming from a very superficial level i could not get the feel of it but now uh, again i would say percentage wise the uh, sometimes i i am able to have that feel actually that yes at this moment i have this feeling of trust most other times i uh, analyze it and then uh, come to a conclusion that because i uh, did not talk well to the person because i uh shouted at them because i got irritated with them uh, this must be doubt and uh, this must be mistrust so okay that is not naturally acceptable this is how it is happening sometimes i get the feel sometimes i analyze and come to a conclusion with third step am i in harmony happy with this feeling so this Uh, in the second step what i said is a feeling part uh, so i could get a few glimpses at the comfort i felt the moment i had any naturally acceptable feeling um just to give an example now we have one guest at our place a girl uh, who has come here for taking up her job and she is from my hometown a very young girl initially i had this a uh, lot of contradictions in me about her behavior in the house and i kept on uh, seeing that she is not cooperating the way she must be if i would have been at her place i would have cooperated the family with whom i am uh, staying very well at my age like at her age when i was i used to help people so much uh, in the household whenever i used to visit uh, families relatives i would always take initiative in the household work i used to never wait for people to assign me work and then i do so i had lot of this background in me about how a person should behave and whenever it did not go well i had lot of opposition for the person and now i am able to see that so much uncomfort i felt about having this opposition in me so this uh, happiness is also felt in a different terms at this batch and unhappiness contradiction is also felt 
in different terms like uh, this proposal is there in the workshop that feeling is quantitative uh, qualitative it is not quantitative but I felt this time that uh, it is very different experience for me as more and more observation is happening. Earlier it was very superficial. Now I feel it and that feel also is very different every time. But the moment I have any naturally acceptable feeling in me, I become very comfortable with it. So I remember one day I was thinking why this person is here. I am already occupied so much and I I have to work for her also. And it disturbs my routine. I have to get up a little early than usual to prepare meal for her to take it to her office and so many things were going on. And one day suddenly, uh, I could observe that um, I asked myself what every morning what you are running in you about this person. Is it making you comfortable? And I just said myself, you should actually have a feeling of gratitude for this person to give you ample opportunity about observation of feelings in you. The moment I had this thought, I became very comfortable. Like it did not start with feeling. It started with thought that I should have feeling of gratitude. But the moment I had thought, I became comfortable. And I thought if every day I start with this feeling of gratitude for her, doing things would become very easy. And then I observed that shift in uh, my thought process about her and my interactions with her became very natural and I was genuinely concerned about her routine, her work at office, her family, which is far away from here. So things were getting placed very naturally then with one thought of the feeling which is naturally acceptable. So that comfort I'm feeling now and with that, when I come to this fourth step, who is um, deciding the feeling? So this also, and till now, I have never been able to take 100% responsibility of my feeling. I have always started with this part that this person is responsible. Then when I analyze it, when I give reasons to it, then I come to this conclusion that he has am responsible. But it takes time. I do not immediately come to this part that I am responsible. I start with other as responsible, then come to me as responsible. And then I am okay to go ahead in deciding a program for me. But it takes time. And particularly this time, uh, I could observe that uh, many a times it was not person, but uh, situations outside also, um, I considered as responsible for things happening in me. Uh, for example, uh, one day um, in the college, they told us that, that there was some... Uh, extra duty on Saturday which I had to do so when it was asked to me by my higher authority the event was about training and placement and I was responsible for from my department about all TPO activities so the moment they said that I have to be part of it just because it was higher authority I said okay but later on I became very uncomfortable while actually I carried away that part so, uh, many things got disturbed in that day. It was holiday for the family members and I was not there. So, that kept running in me and I uh, kept on saying myself, it was this event which uh, ruined my day. Then, uh, then it came to the person. Like, if it, they wouldn't have assigned me this part, I would have been able to do things well at my home. 
but it started with situation and that I noticed this time. And this happened with many such situations. This was just an example, but um, I noticed in a day, many a times I'm blaming situations or people, but later I come back to myself, but the amount of time is more this time. Earlier, I thought I'm taking shifts better, but this time, uh, it went on in me for a good amount of time and then I came back when I asked are you okay to carry it on and many a times I did not even notice that uh, this is happening in me so I, I am thinking overall for one to four step in this particular batch I have become very slow and I started feeling that I have lost interest in many lively things. Like earlier, I used to be very happy with very small things. I used to get excited. Now, I don't feel any excitement about anything because most of the times, uh, this, what is going on in me, I want to see. And most of the times, it is not naturally acceptable. Then I keep on analyzing it and then I keep, uh, take time to come out of it so this is everything is happening in me and with I am thinking that I am getting very less time to interact with outside world my responses are very slow I have become a numb person like that it is happening but I am able to notice that um, it is going with this process and I wanted the shift to take place very soon but the shift is not happening and now I am able to see that most of the times I am uh, working with some assumption about it. So to give you an example, I uh, every time think that things around me should be very conducive for my uh, overall operation. So... Uh, at household or at college, whatever work I am doing, the environment should be conducive for me to carry out that task. But, and this is my assumption, but with that, if it is not conducive, I come to a position for it. And this time, again, uh, since last one or two batches, I am able to look at the assumptions which I have and this time the list has increased and I kept on saying it to myself that yes I have to work for ensuring right understanding but at this moment I am not able to see what is right and that happened many a times it took me time for me to come to any conclusion because most of the times I was comfortable carrying that assumption also. And I, I kept on justifying it. Ki, no, no, this is right. I, I am right. Actually, this person should uh, behave well. Uh, it is their responsibility because they are young. They should know how to talk to elders. And I am the elder one. So that is how I carried on with the assumption part. Uh, I'll share the list of assumptions as I go ahead. But uh, previously, if it was 10, now it has become 20. And I see that those 10 also are not resolved. The list is getting added up. Um, but I am okay with it. Like I, I, I told myself I don't have any option than to accept it. Let us see how I can work. And when I came to this step six, six uh, this feeling of relationship, harmony and coexistence is very much comfortable to me when I ask it to myself and when I am um, in the observation part. When I am operating myself from the assumption part, I carry on opposition, disharmony, and struggle within me for a very long time. But when I decide, when I take this decision that I want to 
बी कंफर्टेबल बी ओके विद इन मी एंड नाउ आई हैव टू सी हाउ रिलेशनशिप वो टू वर्क देन फॉर दैट मोमेंट ओनली आई एम एबल टू टेक द शिफ्ट बट आई एक्सपेक्ट दैट वंस आई एम एबल टू सी दैट रिलेशनशिप इज वॉट इज मेकिंग मी नैच लाइक वेरी कंफर्टेबल फ्रॉम विद इन then why i am not able to carry it for the next and next and next moment that is not happening uh, so this time i um clear my expectation was if i have uh, shared the proposal on trust or respect many a times then it should automatically start working in me uh, why i have to take so much effort but now i am able to see this baggage of assumption is so strong then probably if i do not be aware every moment then the moment i miss it the assumption is going to take up so this is the activity which i have to carry on in continuity earlier i felt i am so lazy that i don't want to work on it let let it be there Uh, let it come to the natural uh, feeling automatically and that is i thought is a pure observer but now i am able to see if some day i would be able to operate from that place of pure observer i will be able to look at it resolve it and come out of it and this will happen without reaction but that is like my dream it is not happening at this time and i have accepted it that it is okay it is a process that i have to go through and about seven step i would say um when i work for this completeness part um two three days ago ago only i was talking to uh, preeti didi uh, she had called me to and we were discussing about sanskar part and why i was sharing it with her i could uh, see that when this four level of harmony i will understand then only it will be uh and coexistence in its completeness then only uh, things will be happening from me in the appropriate way every time right now what is happening uh, i am in harmony and i have feeling of trust in me uh, so i start with the other person with this feeling of trust but the very next moment or next time when the person misbehaves or do does something wrong i immediately shift to my assumption and with that i do not uh, behave well or work well with outside nature so the impact of our uh, uh, interaction which did not go well the effect is i forget to switch off the light in that room so one level if i am not able to work well another level also it is creating impact so my contradictions are creating impact on participation at all four levels that i could understand this time i thought oh this has come to my notice that i have to understand it in, in its completeness and for that i have to take the effort and with that i could take this decision that yes i have to but the decision also uh i am able to take when i am i am able to see it in me at that time uh, after some time again i am not able to take the decision to work on myself when i get carried away with the assumption part and about this whole exercise one um i see it, it it's practical uh, way of working in the conference part very well many a times i became very low um when things were not happening the way i 
uh, was expecting them to and uh, i remember at one point in time i was participating in the live session and i was participating with the fear in me that whether uh, in front of these highly qualified people i'll be able to put up the things nicely will i be able to fulfill the expectations my team has from me and at that very moment my network connection went unstable and uh for the first few moments i became so uncomfortable that i started um call like messaging sunil bhaiya and manisha didi and at one point in time i felt okay it is not going to add any important conclusion if i am not there so let me be just uh, observer of the event and let me be just part of it so when i was in fear things were not happening the right way but the moment i became comfortable even though things outside did not went well at least i was able to take my part all right i did not participate but at least i became the observer of that event and i could take good conclusions from that discussion i could see how well others were performing at that time so this whole conference part was very helpful in executing these steps of exercise in me and i could get glimpse of it when i was aware about it other times with my unawareness i did not understand or i did not participate in it and with this now i would come to exercise 2 i would honestly share that uh, particularly this time my attention to exercise 2 has been very less though in the initial when when the batch 11 began i had decided that this time more than exercise 1 i have to focus on exercise 2 and uh, the reasons were i wanted to really work on my health and uh, i thought if i go through exercise too very well then i'll be able to come to important conclusions for myself the body part will be uh, better worked upon but the interesting conclusion come came to me was as more and more fine tuning i have with exercise 1 less and less contradictions will be there on me and it will um automatically have impact on my body also so once i visited um, this doctor of mine who said to me that uh, i am facing this issue with my stomach because i am taking things too uh, too much on me like i am very sensitive about everything which is happening Uh, around me and he said it is good to be sensitive then you will work for the good but if you become too sensitive about something uh, your health will get compromised and what you want to do you will not be able to uh, with that whole discussion i started looking at exercise 2 in a different way again so this first step that i am there and body is also there i i am able to see and I, now the conclusion which came to me was i am mostly with myself and many a times i am uh not able to even recognize the presence of the body if i pay attention to it then i notice it is there but we both are there like i am also there and body is also there that is okay this information transaction in the step 2 also uh, i am able to notice the third part also is going well that is i am deciding and uh, uh, this third step uh, came to my notice very clearly uh, because this time i was able to take uhv for two different classes and uh, actually Uh, five different classes different divisions 
uh, so the same content I was repeating many a times. Uh, so while uh, we were talking about harmony in the self, this part, because at that time I was going through uh, this step three in our exercise also, I was able to explain them very well. And while I was sharing it with them, I also could uh, see it for me very clearly that every time I am the one who is deciding what instruction is to be given and what sensations to be read. So third step went very well for me this time. Coming to fourth step, um, this distinction has never been clear to me that um, that this distance is there in um, self and body. Uh, many a times I get entangled to the sensation so much that I feel it is happening to me. If it is happening to body, I take it on me. So I need to really work on this fourth step. And this fifth step is uh, again my most liked step that uh, it gives me the clear idea of um, the sanskar which I am having. Uh, this time, the new list of sanskar which I was able to notice was um, earlier I felt that um, I am actually not for, for this comparison and competition part. But somewhere deep within, I felt that this part is so much there in me that if I keep on comparing with people around me. And, and, and that is very, to a very small level. It is not uh, in terms of marks, but in, it is in terms of even behavior also. I behave better than that person in this situation. It is so small, but I noticed it is there and it is... Um, very deep within me. Uh, the second uh, sanskar which I noticed was I differentiate people on any basis with people on any basis like uh, even if it is hair color I just give myself reasons that this person is different than me and I am special because I am not applying any hair color. This was just an example but it is any basis of differentiation, I find out and based on that, I differentiate with people. While it is not making me comfortable, but I do it many a times that I noticed. And uh, this sanskar, I noticed that uh, with uh, criticism, I become very disturbed. And that goes on in me for a very long time. It takes uh, sometimes I advise people don't don't get disturbed with their comments, but I myself get disturbed with somebody's comments about me, and it goes on in me for a very long time. And uh, I have this uh, sanskar of giving up. So if somebody is criticizing me about a work, I develop this tendency that okay, then I won't do it. That way, I noticed it this time very much clearly and uh, about six step step six a and b uh, this response and reaction part is happening from me and i could notice it that a uh, very lesser time it was based on understanding part very few occasions later i uh, like work on it and come out of it but uh, most of the times it is reaction and the um, I don't know it is good or um, bad part, but the reaction comes in, in me. Uh, it, it, it doesn't come out uh, directly. Uh, and then I, I go into that struggle of why the reaction came in me. So it becomes a different story then. But I noticed it. And about seventh step, in the previous batch, I felt the acute need of uh, working on myself so that I get the understanding of this coexistence in space. But this particular batch, I was so engrossed in 
resolving the conflicts in me that I completely um, thought that let me just first uh, get resolved with myself, then I will think of this uh, part on understanding of coexistence. So the last time the need was so acute and I was so hoping that soon the exercise three will start and I will be able to part of it. But later that need was not felt. Um, I thought, let me uh, just wind up with the part which is uh, of struggle of opposition first, then I'll go there. So this is how it has been for exercise two. Coming to um, the part of happiness as a innate nature. Um, with this, I think uh, the uh, outside part, like earlier I was uh, thinking that if I'm having contradiction in me, let me just uh, see one uh, video from YouTube and I'll come out of it. But this time I noticed that even if I switch myself for happiness from one program to another program, I am still able to notice the contradiction. So no outside program is working well in terms of happiness for me. And I have started thinking that I have become uh, very less excited, less interested, less participative in the outside things. Just because my daughter is around, I feel I am alive. But other times, I just work on solving the things inside. And uh, I really want to get more glimpse of happiness as an as my innate nature. I, I, I am seeking for it. I want to have. And I see the program is... Uh, this whole process of volunteering and being with each other. I I cannot thank enough of everyone who has helped me in this whole conference journey. Particularly, I would just take a name of few, Ila Didi, Sunil Bhaiya, Rev Didi, Didi Umesh Sir, uh, Manisha Didi. They have helped me, Lipika Didi, helped me immensely. When I was into contradiction, they helped me to come out of it. But the part was that uh, this whole activity which we do uh, for participating in the larger order actually becomes helpful for our own self. And uh, my commitment is just that I want to participate more and more. And... Uh, I'm committed for it. Like I, I will never imagine my uh, life and the next lifetimes without volunteering work or without UHV. So that's it from my side. Thank you, everyone. Uh, directly or indirectly, your presence, your questions, your sharings have been very helpful for me every time I listen to it. So thank you so much. Thank you so much, Nidhi, for this. Inspirational sharing, I would say, in one word. I request Gobal Bhaiya to give his comments regarding uh, the sharing. Gobal Bhaiya, over to you for the comments and remarks. Namaste Bhaiya. Namaste Nidhi Didi. Namaste Bhaiya. Yes. So very elaborated sharing with example of each step. And I have remembered that I took one workshop with Nidhi Didi in Pune. Right, Didi? Ji, bhaiya. So I saw Nidhi Didi first time there. And she was conducting workshop when I reached Pune. And she was with her daughter. So if I take this whole sharing, the sharing is very elaborated and honest sharing what steps Didi is able to see she has put elaborately and what she is not able to see she has shared it honestly also and as we all know that Didi is working very dedicatedly in this uh, UHV with UHV team and Didi has 
an urge to get transformed in herself. So she is working in all these steps, step by step, and she is trying to verify the uh, proposals. So all this process this is taking very seriously and working on this. Few things I want to add here. Probably these things will help us in this process. So first is difference versus differentiation. So if you see the nature, you will find difference at one level. Like two trees. So if you see any two trees, there will be a difference at one level. If you see two human beings at the level of body, there is a bit difference between two bodies. So there is a difference in hair color. There is a difference in height. So there is a difference. But what happened with human beings? Human starts differentiating with this difference. And this differentiation makes us uncomfortable. Right. So if you see this nature, difference is with complementarity. So for example, human body. So there is a difference in male body and female body. And this difference is with complementarity. But if we do not have the feeling of coexistence, relationship, harmony, then we start differentiating with this and we over evaluate something, we under evaluate something and it creates unhappiness and compatibility in us. So we can search complementarity in differences. In this manner, we can be comfortable with everyone. So did he shared two or three events during it during her sharing. So there is a difference, but with the feeling of coexistence, relationship, harmony, I can find out complementarity. And with this complementarity, I can have compatibility within myself. And this is one part. Second, I want to uh, add one more thing. Event-based thinking to natural laws based thinking so generally we see events and these events dominate or dominate our imagination and we get engrossed with this event and we start thinking event without feelings of coexistence harmony relationship and that's why sometimes the, uh, these events make me disturb so we need to shift from event-based thinking to natural laws-based thinking. So laws are universal. Laws are working with definiteness. So with event, if I am able to see the laws at the base, then this event will not dominate my imagination. I can evaluate it rightly if I am aware of the natural laws. Right? So net we need to focus on natural, natural laws rather than focus only on events. So event is one part that has happened, but at the base, some natural laws are working. Or in other words, we can say observing event in its completeness is important. Generally, we see event and we ignore its completeness and it dominates our imagination and we feel uncomfortable. Sometimes uncomfortable, sometimes very comfortable. So if we are focusing event with its completeness or even with natural laws, so these lo natural laws will make us comfortable whether the event is conducive to us or not. So this shifting 
can make us comfortable. So now we need to practice it. Event with laws, natural laws. So we are shifting our perception, we are shifting our view from event to natural laws, then even not affect us badly. Last thing, uh, as Idi expressed a few times, the state of reaction. So three possible states are there. One is reactive state, Second is active and third is proactive. So reactive means I have feeling of opposition or any feeling that is not naturally acceptable to me. And it is creating uncomfortability in me. And I am not aware of it. And soon its intensity goes up and it reflects in our behavior. So once it is reflected in our behavior, this is reaction. I was not aware what was going on in me. It came into my imagination. Unknowingly, I instructed my body and it is expressed in terms of reaction. This is one part. Second state could be active state. Means something is going on in me. feelings that is not naturally acceptable to me is going on in me and I am aware of it but I am not able to handle it but I am aware of it so as Didi said that reaction is inside but I am not expressing it outside so I am not expressing it outside but it is making me uncomfortable and I am aware of it so what I need to do I need to do through step one to seven of exercise one. So with these steps, I can resolve this state within myself. Third state could be proactive state. Proactive means I am at a state of pure observer. I am observing my sanskar. As some sanskars emerges, which is not aligned with reality, I am evaluating those sanskar in the light of coexistence, harmony, and relationship, I am setting down all those sanskar. And now I am aware what is coming from outside. And each time I am aware with the state of your observer and I am able to resolve my sanskar. In this manner, I will not be in a state of reaction, neither outside reaction nor inside reaction. I can continue my happiness each moment. So these three things I thought to share with you, it may help us in this process. The rest are fine. Didi is working very hard and Didi is very simple also. I saw her in Pune. She conduct workshop with simplicity. And her daughter is also very sweet. And I was also thinking when I was in Pune that how she is managing with her daughter. But both were very happy and both were complimenting to each other during this workshop. Yes, thank you, Didi.